Hi guys, this video is about making Z Gallery inspired abstract art. These are the reference photos from Z Gallery, which are very expensive, beautiful, but just sadly I can't afford it. So I decided to make my own. Um, please keep watching if you want to see how I did it. So these are the supplies that I used. Um, most of them were purchased from either Dollar Tree or Michaels, but I bought foam brushes. Um, the white plastic thing is a drywall spreader. I got a drop cloth, some silver leaf from Michaels, um, which is kind of the most expensive thing, oddly, um, but I had a coupon, so it dropped it down to 40%, which if you subscribe to Michaels, um, they'll, send, they'll email you coupons in which you can use for all other um, arts and crafts things you may be needing to do. I also got some um, chunkier glitter just because that's kind of what I chose but I mean it's really up to you. I got that um, Krylon Glitter Blast Spray um, which leaves a really pretty finish. Just different types of paints, different colors. Um, you could just do two solid colors and mix. It's totally up to you but what kind of paint you use. I would just do acrylic because you're using the canvas. Um, but Another paintbrush that I picked up at Dollar Tree, some other paintbrushes I've already had, a mixing spatula if you're going to mix colors, um, a mixing tray, sometimes you don't really need that, but you never know. Oh, and also an X-Acto knife for the silver leaf, which you'll see later. Now, in choosing your paints, you really kind of um, want to understand first what kind of look you're going for. Um, I wanted a very glam um, and very modern look, so I mixed a lot of satin finish acrylic paints and metallic uh, acrylic paints, um, just as well as some glossy finishes, just because that's uh, the kind of look that I was going for. You don't have to use these kinds of finishes, but you do also have to keep in mind that whatever finish of paint you do choose, that's essentially the overall look of what your art is going to look like. So the canvas is actually one of the most important things. You can do different things and um, get other cheaper alternatives, but I got a Backstaple traditional canvas, which is the artist level one. Yes, there's different um, like artist levels, and that's just the quality of the actual canvas, but I chose this one because it has the wooden frame in the background, or in the back, to help support, and also when you hang it up on the wall, it's just a lot easier, I feel. The size that I got was the 36 by 48 inches just because I wanted that huge look um, as a statement piece. But really the size doesn't matter. It's all depending up um, of you, of what size you're comfortable with or what look you're kind of going for. Um, but to get started, so we, uh, I've already prepped my flooring with the drop cloth that I showed earlier. Um, and I have uh, put my canvas on top. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be literally squeezing paint globs, kind of just creating my own color scheme, um, maybe my, my own patterns. It's just kind of like, like trial and error. Uh, you, as you do it more, you start to get a little bit more comfortable with it. Um, but you literally just kind of have to go into it and kind of see a vision. Um, and then just the thing with this is that it can't really be that perfect. It's not supposed to be. It's abstract and it's really your creativity. Um, so don't worry so much about making it perfect because these types of things, you're not going to have perfect lines. It's going to be very um, flowy and creative and that's what gives it that really um, authentic look and that's what makes it look so cool and marbled. So now I'm taking the drywall um, spatula and I literally just went in for it. So I just kind of followed like my own line, however my hand really took me. Um, so, and then I went backwards and forwards. Um, so this is really kind of the cool and fun part. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Just have in mind kind of what um, steady flow you want to create. So obviously, since I kind of went on a diagonal, like that's just kind of the shape that 
this um, painting is going to take. So I followed everything kind of in, in that motion. Um, but one thing too that I discovered later is try putting your paint globs really, really close to the edge so you don't have to do that weird like back and forth thing and create harsh lines from the drywall spatula. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's really like you could start from the bottom and go up uh, and make horizontal lines or make vertical lines, make diagonal lines, um, wh whichever way you want to. You can add more um, paint towards the middle of the canvas so that it just starts a different pattern like I start to do here. Um, it, it, it's really up to you what you want to do um, as far as the look of it, but you just kind of have to go in there like I said and then just let your hand work and you're going to continue just adding paint colors um, and using the spatula you can use your foam brushes a regular brush smaller brushes to make more details if you want it, you really just kind of have to step back from time to time and look at it and see where you want to go and make any adjustments um, but the cool thing about this is that there is no right or wrong way, so it's really what you want to do. And if anything with acrylic paint, um, it's, I mean, it could kind of work like an eraser. As long as the acrylic paint is completely dry, you can put any color over and it's going to transfer the exact color. The underlying color is not going to matter really, um, unless it's like a super dark color underneath. But so if you do mess up, you could do that and just wait. Uh, or you can just go with it. There were a few parts where like there's some harsh lines there. Um, obviously, like you could see right there in the middle of the of the canvas. Um, but later, I just cover it with either glitter or silver leaf, which you'll see here soon. Um, but don't be scared of making mistakes in this. Like it's totally fine. You can use other things to cover it up, or if anything, just let it dry, and then you can uh, make paint uh, strokes over it. So while the paint is still wet on the canvas, because it is going to take a few hours for it to fully dry, um, you want to place the silver leaf um, so that it has something to attach to. Uh, using silver leaf is a very delicate process um, because it, it, it tears apart easily. Um, and it can also stick to your fingers or whatever it is that you're using to apply it. So you just have to kind of use it in a very delicate form. But the outcome of it is so cool. So um, it's, it's definitely worth it. But either using your X-Acto knife or a foam brush, you can just um, place it over. If you want like a specific design over it, you can do that too. Um, it's just really kind of up to you, but I use my foam brush just to kind of pat it down so it wouldn't be loose and so that it could really adhere uh, properly onto the canvas. Um, but I kind of just used it um, over like some spots that were a little wonky, like some places that looked a little weird from the paints, uh, the paint patterns. Um, and I kind of used that to like cover up some spots that I didn't really want to uh, be shown and so now until you're done with the whole entire canvas um, you're just gonna be going back and forth and adding maybe some more silver leaf uh, sprinkle some glitter onto the canvas um, incorporate any other materials you may want to like different types of glitter uh, different colors of glitter uh, any other things I don't know maybe buttons crystals I mean really whatever you want to add on the canvas to create more texture and uh, anything for aesthetic purposes I'm pretty sure anything you put on there is probably going to look fantastic so uh, it's really just up to you and, and the look that you want to do it in whatever you're comfortable with but um, until the whole canvas is fully covered and or maybe until you're satisfied with how it looks uh, then that is the stopping point um, so when I reached the uh, end of the canvas that I put paint on so while it was still kind of damp um, I just took it outside and I sprayed that glitter spray um, all over the canvas um, and in different patterns kind of like a swirling motion but it added such a pretty um, kind of like an iridescent um, 
the glittery sheen to the whole thing and then I just let it dry for a few hours and then I hung it up and this is the final result. Thank you for watching.